Hi, everyone. It's such a joy to be here with you today. This episode is to share with you something that has the powerful ability to transform your life, your career, and your connections. It's something very straightforward, but significantly will impact your life, and that is the power of positive self talk. You see, we all have the little voice inside our heads, it's constantly chattering. And the things that it says can either lift us or tear us down. This is exactly what self talk is. Now, imagine if this voice was always telling you how amazing, capable, and remarkable you are. Imagine the confidence you'd feel walking into any room or taking on any challenge. But unfortunately, myself included, for many of us, That little voice isn't always so nice, right? It might remind us of our past failures or predict future failures. It might tell us we're not good enough and not smart enough, not deserving of success, or we are not ready for the better. And here's the kicker we believe it. We let that voice dictate our self worth. And our daily habits, our thoughts and emotions, our actions, and ultimately that adds up to our lives. Negative self talk is like a cloud that dims our potential, it drains our energy, and it gets rid of our confidence that it was so hard to build, right? And it stops us from reaching our goals. When we constantly criticize ourselves, we reinforce that narrative that keeps us small. Think about it. Would you let a friend or loved one speak to you the way you sometimes speak to yourself? I bet not. But here's the good news just as we can be our own worst critics, we can also be our greatest cheerleaders. Studies have shown that positive self talk can rewire our brains. Neuroscientists have discovered that our thoughts can create new neural pathways. This simply means that the more we practice self talk, the more it becomes a natural part of our thinking process. We start to build new habits, new behaviors, and yes, newfound confidence. So, how do we harness this power, this power of positive self talk? Here are my three strategies for you. Number one, I always say this with everything everything starts with awareness. So, awareness and reflection is number one. I probably say this too much about every topic. I speak on, right? But first, becoming aware of your self talk is crucial. Pay attention to that little voice, what that little voice is saying to you. And when you catch yourself in the negative self talk, pause and reflect. Ask yourself Is this thought true? Is this thought helpful? Tell yourself, Oh, there goes that negative self talk. Gotcha, gotcha, right? Because once you notice it, don't react to it or stop letting it affect your feelings. Simply catch it and notice it and have that awareness because that is the first step to you living your better life. Number two is then once you catch yourself, You reframe and replace. You reframe these negative thoughts into more positive affirmations. So instead of saying, I'm terrible at this, we reframe it into, I'm learning and I'm improving every day. When you think the thought, I cannot do this, no way. For example, people want to speak up, they want to、um, not shrink themselves or cave in during a meeting, right? You think to yourself, I will find a way to do this. 
It's the small thoughts that we are thinking inside of our head that adds up. And last but not least, practice, practice, and practice. And that's where consistency comes in, right? You practice positive self-talk daily. Make it a habit. Start your day with affirmations. Write down three things you love about yourself every night. Surround yourself with positivity, whether that's a book, podcast, or the five people in your life. Let me share a quick story with you. A few years ago, when I started this podcast, I was terrified. My inner critic was in full force, telling me I wasn't ready, that I'm making a fool of myself, that I was nobody, that what if you know the Lucy Lou that I look up to. What would she think of me? That I wasn't her. I wasn't the Lucy Lou, right? Pe- people are used to seeing her on the screen. But then I decided to try something different. I took a deep breath, and I had to reframe myself. I look in the mirror and told myself, "You've got this. You are unique, and you are capable." And I had to repeat these more empowering thoughts in my head over and over. And guess what? It's the simple shift in mindset that transformed my fear into excitement. And here I am, four years later. This podcast is still here, bringing you weekly value to transform your life. Now, imagine what you could have achieved if you made self. Positive self-talk, a daily practice. Imagine walking into every room, every opportunity, facing every challenge, knowing that you are enough, that you are capable, that you are worthy because you are. You are amazing. You are remarkable. You have a superpower. You are irreplaceable. You are powerful. You are everything that you dream to be. So I challenge you today to start speaking to yourself with kindness, with encouragement, and belief. Rewrite your inner narrative to one that empowers you. Rewrite your inner narrative that builds you up. Rewrite every. Negative narrative to positive ones that will boost your confidence. And remember, the most important conversation you will ever have is the one you have with yourself. So make it a powerful one. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next week.